Hello guys, Igor here doing one more episode more review today analyzing Rapid Loader, a tool that claims to speed up loading times for your WordPress and WooCommerce sites. It's an alternative to Nitro Pack and WP Rocket. The idea here is that they will optimize your website with a one-click button. Yes, you will not need to do anything manually. Everything will be done automatically on your website with Rabbit Loader and they will optimize your website using content minification, lazy loading and CD CDN caching. So you're going to get a really good grades on GT metrics and on other websites, for instance, Google page speed. The difference here will be the number of websites, page rows, and also the monthly traffic bandwidth. Take a look that for that kind of deal, you need the CDN. So the monthly traffic bandwidth, it's really important. I think the best deal here is to buy the tier three because the difference is not high and you get 500 gigabytes monthly traffic bandwidth per month, which is pretty good. So, as you can see here, um, on license tier 4, you get 1 terabyte, but it's really more expensive, almost a double. So, the license tier 3 here is almost perfect for everyone. If you can't buy the license tier 3, um, just go to license tier 2, because then you get unlimited websites and paid rules. I'm going to show you how the tool works. Everything happens inside your website as you are seeing here. And you're going to get your best page speed score. As you can see here, I'm getting 94 on my website. It's a blog, so it has a lot of images, a lot of paid. And I'm, I really uh, managed to improve my website just installing Revit Loader. I also have Gumlet and Swiss. But then I uninstalled both and I'm using only Rabbit Loader to test. And by now, I think it's working pretty well. As you can see here, you can see all uh, the URLs that they have done the cache, the CSS reduction, and the image compression. If you click here, you can see all your URLs and their grades. Okay. You can see the first time, the first time it was detected and also the cache referred. You can see your best speed so far and average speed score achieve it. You don't need to do anything. You just install the plugin and it will work by default. You need to wait um, at least for 48 hours to see all the results. And here you can see also your coder. Okay. So I consume it uh, 0 0.41 gigabytes, 0 percent of my 100 gigabytes coder. I'm planning to upgrade to tier three. You can see all, all your Im image compression as well. If you click here, you get some samplings and also the original size, the total of image, the optimized size and the size improvement. You can also, uh, also see your critical CSS, the improvement for each page. Here you can see your CDN usage. So I'm using it and I didn't spend 100 gigabytes by now. The quota remaining, everything is here. You get also demographics, seeing your top country and the countries by bandwidth use it. On settings, you see that's pretty simple. General settings, you can just click here if you want instant and content change uh, to just, you know, um, change automatically or if you want to catch it those on as well. Since I have a blog, instant content change is important for me, so I turn it on. This one is only to use uh, the tool for you inside, so you don't use it for external users to test, of course. You can exclude the URLs that the plugin will work, just adding the URLs here. And you can also ignore parameters using that field here. Click on that button to purge your, your, all your page cache if you need. The tool has also an internal dashboard on Rabbit lo Loader where you can see your account and add new websites here. On your uh, Rabbit Loader dashboard, you also see the page speed score, all your optimization data, your bandwidth saved, etc. 
you will, can see all your reports as well inside Revit Loader. And on settings, you can add your Cloudflare integration if you would call Cloudflare. So you can keep using Cloudflare security while you are using Revit Loader. You can delegate access to your users, change the HTTPS, and add page rules. For instance, if you don't want to use the plugin in a, in a page, so if you want to um, change uh, any JavaScript specific on a page, you can do it on the page rules. And you have the purge cache options as well. And what you need to do to uh, optimize your website, it's a one click button plugin. So it will work everything by default with laser loading, CDN cache, etc. I hope you like that review. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.